Hey guys, what up? Spiritmong187 here. And welcome back for a new match of Shadow Yar. Give the opponent high have fun, and we are still in beta and we build up ourselves a nice Praxix deck. Uh, against what are we playing against? The Shadow, the Wolven, blah blah blah. Target Wolven ally in your hand, the summon at no cost again, plus one. Okay, that's nice. Let's get rid of. Uh, well, we do have two Infinity Cords, let's get rid of one of them. So what we have built is a Praxix deck, and it's not about discarding, for the most of the reason, well, it does some discard, but especially for my own discard. So I'm using a lot of cards with benefits uh, from discard, like Gravemonger, if there are six cards in ally in your graveyard, remove one, it gets plus two, plus two, four resources, so that's a pretty good card. Uh, discard, it's most of the time you discard it and uh, most of the time an ally of your opponent gets free damage. So let's see what we have here, Leyline Nexus, let's get rid of... Uh, well that's the only one we have in our deck. Hmm. Let's get rid of the Grave Monk. And let's cast out this one, the Harboring of the Lost, when it comes into play, each player discards a card from his deck. If an ally was discarded, it gets plus one plus one. And yep, an ally gets discarded, so it gets plus one plus one. In this case, it was a tiger wolf. And the card of mine that was discarded, I don't care, I'm not even going to read it or try to read it or click on it or whatever. Let's see, here comes a now your mind, so it gets destroyed. And it's our turn. Well, 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 what are we going to do? Are we going to play another Heartbringer? Yeah, why not? Let's just cast another Heartbringer. And this time we have don't have that much luck of uh, gaining plus one, plus one. So it's a now one tree ally for two resources. A little bit of a crappy pewin. So guys, what do you think of Shattered Fates? Did you already played it, or uh, have you looked through all the cards from the official website from Shadow? Uh, probably you've seen some uploads on YouTube like this one, or my last video, or uploads from other guys who upload YouTube videos. <laughs> um, let's get rid of this armor. What does this say? Hey, when to involve this combat damage, it gains plus one base attack. Ooh, that's pretty nice. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Well, we are going to cast him, and in order to play him, we have to discard a card first, deal 3 damage to him. And now he's 2 1 ally, so we can take him down pretty easy. There he goes. And we can use our ability, but we're not going to do that. Because the ability says each player discard 4 cards, and for each ally discarded, an opponent's ally gets 1 damage. And with a maximum of 4, so you can deal 4 damage if you're lucky. And let's just see what he's going to do now. 5 resources, 3 cards in his hand left. There comes a bad wolf, which is going to die. For sure. Um, how is he going to die? Mm, I'm going to hide cost another one of these destroy one of these so he gets some damage in his face send in the Harbringer and deal two more damage to his hero and we'll just have turn here so this is going out pretty smooth this is only my second, no third game with this deck or second ah, third, third game first I played against a priest I've won Against another deck that I can't remember, I have one, and then this match. Whoa, what What the hell? Okay, there come some, come in some haste guys, they're pretty hasty. Does that also give haste? Let's just skip this up. Target wolf and ally in your hand, it's summoned at no cost and gain plus one best attack. The text. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. It's fine. That's nice. Well, let's just give him a mind control on the face. Bring him down to 20. And let's just use our ability here. Count the allies. One, two, only two this time. So deal two damage to him. Another two to the lightning hunter. 
and two in his face, taking him down to 18. And we have pretty much board control, we have more cards in our hand, and we have sure more shadow energy. So, it's looking quite well. And next turn we can play the. Here comes the Pranks of the Predator. Yeah, I was a little bit scared of that. He doesn't have any allies, so. Let's see, we can drop out the Shriek of Vengeance. Yeah, we're going to drop out. Hmm. We could cast this one. Yeah, why well, not? Bring off Lost. We're going to do that. We're going to cast him. Discard him. Deal 3 damage to his hero. Draw two cards. And cast this Harbringer. Which gets plus 1 for so win. And <laughs> wow, this is nice. And he comes into play. So he got discarded from my deck. And when he gets discarded from anywhere, he comes into play. So now I have. Uh, a pretty nice board. Attack some more, take him down to 11, and we'll just end turn. So this this deck is really about yeah, just when you play some cards, it can really change the game. No, I discarded the card, and it happened to be this guy. And you can also you have that with the ability. Well, that was a victory, and yeah, well, it ran out pretty smooth. It was a pretty smooth match, and uh, yeah, I hope you like this version of Praxis. It was not about milling the opponent, but more or less discarding cards from your deck or from your hand, and benefits from the abilities. While and when when you benefit from those abilities and destroying cards without losing actually anything, you're gaining card advantage without without really gaining card advantage. But sometimes I yeah, I do draw a card, but well, you get the point. It's pretty hard for me to explain. Well, well, yeah, English is not my native language, but I'm I'm doing my best, and I still hope you like this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and we'll see you next match again with some practice maybe or some other uh, Jared Fade decks. Cheers.